So, hey, it's the week of Thanksgiving. Um, it's a time where everyone's usually excited. They get to see family. Um, and so my, my, my ask to you is to tell someone what you're grateful for, right? Go call a old friend, a colleague, a team member, somebody you worked with in the past. Text them and just say, hey, I'm grateful for this. Or, hey, we had a great relationship or a bond. Or I remember that one time you did this. It's a great time to be, be grateful, you know, and gratitude. And, um, and so that's, that's my one ask for you during this great season. Back when I was getting coached on my real estate career, I introduced to something that was very foreign to me, something that I didn't believe in, but I was uh, so young, hungry, um, anxious, and willing to, it was like a dog on a bone. Anything that was thrown at me, I was willing to bite at it, right? Like a puppy dog. And so I got in and I went full-fledged and got in with coaching. And the first thing they said was, you need to journal. Now, take it. I'm 22 at the time when I, when I joined coaching, 22 year old journaling. So he said, just do me a favor, 30 days straight, I want you to journal. I'm like, why am I gonna journal? I mean, I'm gonna write down my feelings, like what, what is this about? He says, you're gonna write down three things, what you did, how you felt, and who you met. Every single day, I don't care if it's three sentences, three paragraphs, or three pages. I said, okay, what am I gonna get out of this? And he said, just you hired me to be your coach. This is one of many things that I'm gonna ask you to do, but we're gonna talk about things and what you're gaining from it throughout the journey. I don't want to tell you what you should experience because I just want you to experience it. And one of the big things I found through journaling was expression, right? Where I got to express myself on writing. And I just got to write if it was just only me looking at it. I wasn't writing for anyone else to read. It was just for me. And one of the big things I, I realized is, is reflection through that. Reflection. And through reflection, I think you become grateful. And, and tis the season of Thanksgiving, right? Right? It's the perfect time. And so what I did was I learned not only can I look back at some of the things I thought were challenges or struggles, but those were overcome. I always had the mindset of this too shall pass whenever something um, major seemed like a roadblock or a hurdle. I believe that you find a place of gratitude. And I always say you can't really move forward in life until you really understand where you've come from. And I can tell you not only where I've come from, but the struggles um, and victories um, and things that I wanted to improve and then watched them improve throughout my journaling. Um, and it, it, it's a great morning routine that I, I, I picked up and it, and, and it wasn't just what I did, it became who I was, but I also was able to think about what I was grateful for. And, and I involved my journaling experience. Instead of just writing about those things, at the end of each week, I'd write down what I'm grateful for in the beginning. And so how cool is this? I, I'll challenge you, when was the last time you actually looked at the things that you've accomplished in life, right? I believe that if you start the mornings off with a, a, a mindset of gratitude, of being grateful, it's hard to have a bad day. It, it truly is. Like, wake up tomorrow. This is my challenge is wake up tomorrow and think of everything you're grateful for tomorrow morning. The first thing you do is work up everything you're grateful for and then see if you're gonna have a bad day. It's tough. It's a great sense of, of understanding who you are and helping you get to where you wanna go. And so, um, yeah, I just hope everyone has a great, uh, I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. Um, I can't wait to eat a lot of great food, see great family, and reflect on yet another great year of, of, of my life. Everyone will ask me, what do you do on Black Friday? Are you buying stuff? You know, what are the memories? And here's what I think about. I think about two things. One, I think about my mom, every single Friday, Black Friday, she'd go and she'd get me electronics. I loved and still love electronics. I've loved them my entire life. I remember every Sunday, the newspaper days, that's right, you young bucks, right? I'm talking about the newspaper, the actual paper that used to come on Sunday. For those of you who don't know what that means, every Sunday a fat piece of newspaper came. It wasn't the thin one, it was a fat one because it had all the ads in it. I remember things like Circuit City, which doesn't even exist anymore, Best Buy, Target, and my favorite sections were the electronics. And so my mom on Black Friday every year would go stand in line, bless her soul, and she'd go and get me the electronics that I wanted. I loved everything about electronics that you can be. Now, what's interesting is as I grew up and got older, 
I started to work at a company called Target, right? I was a front lanes and customer service manager. And what's interesting is I always had to work Black Friday. How could I not? It's the busiest day. And it was great to see everyone rushing, everyone come, and everyone's happy and charging, right? Towards the limited TVs that they have to sell that are like 80% off and all these great deals. But the thing that I love the most is everyone was happy, right? And they're cheerful, they're excited because what are they doing? They're outside standing in line for their family. It's all about family. And so um, this season's one of my favorite seasons, the holidays, I love it, everyone's happy um, and everyone's you know, jolly and people are just grateful. And so um, I hope you guys go out there and get something for your loved ones on, uh, on Black Friday, get some deals. I know there's a lot out there. I'm not, I'm getting retargeted like a mug right now. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Ciao.